lots going on here. But we're really excited to finally close the deal on our new boat and live on it full time now. If you're watching this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. So right now we're in Florida, getting ready to leave to head up to Boston. Um, this is the car we have to try to fit all of our stuff in. It's never gonna happen, so we're only gonna be bringing some stuff with us on this trip. So we have a lot of stuff we took off the catamaran. Um, here's just some of it. And we have more inside, unfortunately. So Lauren, are we going to fit all this stuff in the car? I'm having a very difficult time consolidating my clothes. Yep. What are you doing, Lauren? Getting all the stains out of your shirt. To see if we, need, if we can save them or if we're going to throw them out? Okay, I think it's as stuffed as I can get it. I don't think the door is gonna close. Let's give it a try. Ah, got it. All right. So I took the back and Lauren's gonna get the back seat to fill with her stuff, which honestly the back seat is way bigger than the front seat or than the trunk the trunk is tiny in this car I'm not used to it never had a car with that small of a trunk but as you can see behind me like there's no way this stuff's going in there like that's just not gonna happen um just way too much stuff from the boat go see how lauren's doing so we got a pack then we got a clean oh it's starting to get put away she's gonna be over capacity i think she gets that suitcase and the duffel and there's still a lot of clothes sitting out. We drove over a thousand miles from Orlando all the way to Boston. We made two stops along the way in Virginia and Rhode Island. So we've been off the boat for a while. We were living in Orlando and now we are in Boston yeah. driving to move on to our new boat. It was a ton of driving. I've been driving it was 12 hours from Florida, Virginia. It was like eight hours up to Boston. We're tired. The dogs, luckily, are good passengers. First load on the boat and it is messy. So much stuff. It's not even like part of it. But unless you look around and see. Zora was able to find a nice spot though. I do not know where Callie is. Oh there she is. A lot of stuff, Lauren. Mm -hmm. So 
We got a lot. Luckily, there's a ton of storage on the boat compared to how Kelpie was. Some of the things that we looked for in a new boat was a larger couch in the saloon, more storage space, a large kitchen sink, an electric stove and oven, a large refrigerator, ice maker, and a dishwasher, the outdoor seating area, a separate washing machine and dryer, and an outdoor lounge area. In order to close the deal on the new boat, we had to sail it offshore, where we finalized all the paperwork and the boat officially became ours. I told you, don't lose your buyer in the water before you get, <laughs> get to the cell phone. All right, we're, d we're done, Agni. It's no longer your problem, right? <laughs> Welcome to your new hobby. Yeah. <laughs> After closing the deal, we turned around and sailed it back to the marina in Boston. 